We will call the meeting to order. Uh, could you please join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, if you could please join me for a moment of silence, Madam Superintendent. Yes. Um, back uh, just a little over a week ago, um, we lost a, a staff member uh, who I was very fortunate to have worked with many years ago, and many of you know Janet, Jan McGarry. And Jan McGarry was a nurse uh, actually at the what we call the Cardinal Cushing Hospital many years ago, now Good Samaritan. She came to work. Uh, one of her first jobs was at the, at the time, the Howard Diagnostic Center, which is now our Barrett Russell. Um, she was a woman that was caring, uh, very involved with the kids, the family, always going that extra mile. Um, many of you know her husband, John, her daughter, Katie, who are truly still dedicated to our drama program. You know, the last time I met with Jan was during the Newsy. She couldn't wait to bring her granddaughter, you know, to see the show. And I'm going to ask uh, again, uh, it is with deep sadness and sympathy, and I want to keep Jan in all of our prayers that we take a moment of silence. Thank you. Okay. Kevin Quorum. Is Judy? Is Lisa? Good. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, this evening, the, the mayor regrets that he cannot uh, be with us tonight. However, um, he's tending to his dad. Um, so uh, he asked me to uh, take uh, take over in his absence. Um, we are going to be uh, having an abbreviated session at the beginning because we'll be going over to the um, award ceremony and then we will, so we will suspend our meeting um, until such time that the award session is over, which usually is about what, an hour and 15 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then we will come in and finish up our business. However, there is one item that I would like to take out of order, Madam Superintendent. Well, um those of you, and I know we will be talking about it when we come back, the wonderful graduation ceremony for our 2019 graduates that we all attended uh, this past Saturday. Um, we're so proud of you. And when Jayla left us last, I, I don't think we realized it was our last meeting. So we asked Jayla to come back as now a graduate of the class of 2019. And what we would like to do, um, can we step up? We'd like to bring you up here, Jayla. We want you to show everybody out there. Now, this might not be the right size. We have the slip in there. Can you hold it up? Oh, I love it. So, this is her gray hoodie. Perfect. So we should suspend. Yep. Now. Okay. So um, can I entertain a motion to suspend with uh, the understanding that we will return and reconvene once the assembly, the awards assembly, is over? Motion to suspend until the awards assembly is over. And we'll reconvene. And we will reconvene. Um, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that since I don't believe there's anyone signed up for the hearing of visitors. So we'll. Okay. Um, anyone here for hearing of visitors? Seeing anyone signed up for it? No? 
Okay, seeing none, we will move on. Motion, I second the motion to suspend. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Okay, all in favor? All right, we shall reconvene. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Could everyone take their seats, please? Thank you very much. Uh, good evening. Tonight, um, I'm filling in for the mayor. Uh, the mayor is um, with his dad, uh, who is um, a little bit under the weather. So if everyone could just uh, say a prayer and wish uh, the mayor and his dad some positive energy, that would be very appreciated. My name is uh, Tom Minicello. I am the Ward 1 School Committee member, and we are uh, so happy to have you here tonight for the award ceremony. It's one of the um, proudest nights here in the Brockton Public Schools. I'd like to introduce my fellow school committee members, Tim Sullivan from Ward 7, Mark Diagostino from Ward 3, Lisa Plant from Ward 2, Judy Sullivan from Ward 5, and Brett Gormley from Ward 4. Um, Joyce Azak regrets not being able to be here, but she's from Ward 7 and um, has you in her thoughts. So, um, thank you for joining us tonight. This is obviously a very special occasion. Uh, parents are very proud of your students and you students. We are so proud of your academic, your athletic, and certainly your artistic achievements. Um, this is what uh, makes the Brockton Public Schools wonderful with all of the different uh, talents that we have in Brockton. We are um, going to be treated to our BHS JROTC uh, program tonight who will uh, set the stage and um, present the colors. But before we do that, could you please join me with the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of order. We're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance after the JROTC presents the colors. So, <laughs> without further ado, JROTC, the floor is yours.
please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I take full blame for messing up the timing of our excellent JROTC. I know um, I got them out of their rhythm, but uh, they are the best. The program is fantastic, and we are so fortunate to have, uh, have them here. So my apologies. So like I said, this is a wonderful evening. I love this evening because um, there's so many students here of all sorts of different ages and programs, and it uh, highlights really what makes the Brockton Public Schools so wonderful. Um, you um, come from a great city. You come from a great community here in the city of Champions. There's so many uh, achievers in the past, um, you know, Thomas Edison and certainly uh, Rocky Marciano, and we um, are just achieving every day with regard to academics excellence. Uh, Brockton High School, you know, in terms of being one of the best high schools in the country is renowned. Um, people from this high school are recognized all throughout the state and at the different colleges because they are come here well prepared and they truly <clears throat> go to every single school and college out there and um, graduate with high honors and pursue every career under the sun. So. Um, the future is bright for everyone here, and um, I would like to personally say, parents, friends, relatives, thank you for supporting your students. Uh, you've done a wonderful job, obviously, because uh, your students are here tonight uh, achieving these awards. So I would like to uh, introduce our superintendent of schools, but before I introduce her, uh, I would just like to point out that uh, tonight is going to be, for me, a um, sad time because this would be the last um, achievement uh, night, of, uh, award night that she will be in charge and uh, running the program. But um, our superintendent, Kathleen Smith, who's been a part of the school system for 42 years and a part of this community um, for just as long, um, will be leaving us sadly as our superintendent. But uh, uh, Superintendent Smith has been the biggest cheerleader supporter um, of the Brockton Public Schools, uh, her love of uh, the school system and the students, and uh, her commitment, work ethic, um, intellect is second to none. We, uh, we've been so fortunate to have her for the last six years as uh, our superintendent. She has made uh, our job as school committee members um, much easier in these difficult times that I don't need to inform you all about with regard to financially, but she was the right person at the right time from the system, and she has uh, done a, an admirable job, and we will miss her. I will personally miss her. So please, a big round of applause for Superintendent Kathleen Smith. Good evening, everyone, and thank you, uh, Mr. Minicello, and all members of the school committee, because quite honestly, you made my job easy. You know, we came together, uh, as Mr. Minicello said, during difficult times, we worked with members of the community, and we did that because of the very students that you're gonna see here this evening. I have always said that I am the proudest superintendent in this nation. On Saturday, we graduated over 1,000 students and those were students, yes, please cheer that. And those were students that sat in those very same seats as you did, getting awards for everything from the arts, to drama, to athletics, to academics, to science fairs, to history fairs, to Special Olympics, distinguishing themselves all over the state and now moving on, as Mr. Minicello said, to wonderful college career or whatever they want to do, whatever those opportunities are. You make us proud each and every day. The teachers that support you, all your staff at the school, many of them are here this evening. 
I want to thank our communications officer, Michelle Bolton, and all of our administrative interns. Please take a bow this evening for all you did to prepare for these youngsters. I see many of our administrators out there making sure that you have all the opportunities that you have in this wonderful city. And distinguish yourselves is just what you do. You can't open the paper without reading about some wonderful thing, giving of your, yourself, community service, achieving at the highest levels in every element of what it means to be a student in the Brockton Public Schools. So without further ado, congratulations to all the recipients tonight. Thank you, parents. Thank you for always being there, for always being by my side as superintendent, as a partner in the education of your children. You also made my job a lot easier in being able to support your youngsters because I want to echo, it truly does take a village, and that's what we do here in the city of Brockton. So I'd like to uh, invite our associate principal from South Middle School, John Lynch, up on the stage. He is our math lead at the middle school level, and he will kick off the awards ceremony for 2019. Thank you. Good evening. I'm proud to uh, present the New England Math League Awards. The New England Math League is a contest that happens uh, once a year. It is a timed uh, test that has roughly 35 questions. A score of 15 is considered a very good score, and many of these students beat those scores. So I'm proud to present the first awards to the grade six team from the Plouffe Academy, who scored first place in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with a total of 121 points. First person is Franklin Chen, who scored first overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 27 points. If you wouldn't mind, please hold your applause until the end so we can hear the names. The next is Aiden Hughes, who scored second overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 25 points. Next is Katarina Lazat, who tied for third overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties uh, with an individual score of 24 points. James Williams, who tied for third overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 24 points. Michael Lisavita uh, and Nicholas Colby. Next is the third place team from grade six, that is from the Ashfield Middle School, who uh, scored a total of 92 points. Uh, Myra Montero, Evard Leonidas, J.C. Harriman, Madison Anderson, and Ethan Castro. Next is seventh grade, and this again was the Pluff uh, Academy who scored first place overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with a total of 100 points. First is Elizabeth Bernadine. She tied for first overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 23 points. Next is Emily Lee, who scored fourth overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 20 points. Next is Julian Champagne. Ella Silverman, and Francis Prydahl. Also for grade seven was third place in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties uh, from the Ashfield Middle School with a total of 86 points. Amon Khalil, who uh, tied for first overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 23 points. Next is Aiden uh, Delagolia, Shane Martian, Jason Wood, Damon uh, Greenstein, Ethan Kang, Connor Crow, 
and Julian Cardozo. Next is our grade eight. We had a second place team in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties from the Plouffe Academy with 103 total points. Abigail Bertocci uh, tied for third overall in the Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 22 points. Next is Hannah Zuckerman. Peter Johnson. Sophia uh, Shelley Weiss. and Destine Gonkovs. Next is grade eight for third uh, place team overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties from the Ashfield Mil uh, Middle School. First is Owen Lacara, who tied for third overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 22 points. Matthew Turco, Brandon Boucher, JC Seedham, and Isaiah Million. Finally, from grade eight there uh, from South Middle School, Enoch Yemi Castillo tied for third overall in Barnstable, Bristol, and Plymouth counties with an individual score of 22 points. Please give a uh, big round of applause to our Math League recipients. I get to do double duty tonight, and I am doing the Science Fair Awards for middle school, and that is uh, the Southeastern Massachusetts Regional Science Fair was held on April 6, 2019 at Regis College. Students from five middle schools entered a spot at a regional contest and represented Brockton. One project earned a first place with an invitation to apply to the uh, broad, Broadcom Master's Fair. One earned a third place with an invitation to apply, apply to the Broadcom Master's Fair. And two projects earned honorable mentions. First is Jessica Nguyen from Pluff with an honorable mention. Next is Peter Johnson. And another, uh, the next one is Abigail Bertocci from the Pluff, who uh, scored third place and invited to the apply to the Broadcom Masters Fair. <laughs> Binsky Analyst from North uh, Middle School placed first uh, and it was invited to the Broadcom Masters Fair. And the State Science Fair was held on May 11, 2019. Jessica Nguyen earned third place overall, and Abigail Bertocci earned second place and was invited to apply to the Broadcom Masters. Another round of applause for the science fair. <laughs> and it is now my pleasure to introduce Diane Davis, Department Head of Special Education, who will introduce the uh, students who excelled in the statewide Special Olympics. It was my great honor and privilege, um, along with Cassie Spatola and Amy Zanaboni, to coach the Special Education uh, Special Olympics Unified Track Team. Um, last year, we were the MIAA state champions in our Division II. This year, we were Division I. Uh, the Boxer Buddies Unified Track Team, made up of 23 athletes, competed against 22 other teams this season in Division I. 12 of those athletes competed at the Unified Track State Championship on May 29th. At the state meet, all 52 teams in both divisions were represented. Of all 52 teams, the Boxer Buddies Unified Track Team at Brockton High received the 2019 Sportsmanship Award for outstanding demonstrations of sportsmanship and respect during the Unified Track and Field season. We'll now call up the athletes. Gersh Jean Baptiste competed in the 4x100 relay. 
Come on up, Carson. Brianna Johnson competed in the javelin. We can wait till the end and clap for everybody. Big, huge clap. Ishmael Johnson competed in the 4x400. Four four Ricky Pyres competed in the 4x400. Four four Hughes Rosenberg competed in the 400 meter dash. <laughs> Kevin Teixeira competed in the shot put. And Jose Johnson competed in the 800 meter dash. Thank you so much. And now it is my privilege to introduce Dr. Ethan Cancel, who will present the awards for students who achieved perfect scores on the statewide MCAS assessment. All right, good evening, everyone. Just turning to my uh, spot on the script here. Here we go. I want to thank the mayor, the superintendent, the school committee, and all of you for celebrating an unbelievable achievement tonight, a perfect score on the MCAS. I wanted to uh, let you know how rare of an accomplishment that is. I asked a friend of mine at the uh, state, said, what are the numbers? How many people got perfect scores from, for the whole state? And so it turns out, you know, you often hear of the 1%. Well, it's less than 1%. In fact, for uh, some of the grades, it's 2 tenths of 1%. So that sounds pretty awesome, and you should clap. But now, now is my attempt to say a couple bad jokes and then I'm going to get on with this, but how, how rare is it? Okay, so here's the deal. You are twice as likely to date a millionaire than you are to get a perfect score on the MCAS. And if you look like me, you're much more than twice as unlikely. Okay. Um, <laughs> But the bad news is you're not very likely to win the uh, mega, mega Ball or uh, the Powerball or the Mega Millions. So keep working hard and getting perfect scores. Without further ado, we have third grade. This is last year's score, don't forget. So third grade, she's now in fourth grade. Um, Marja Gonet. We have Michaela, I'm sorry, we have Lillian Camo. In seventh grade, we have Jane Liu. And in eighth grade, we have Michaela Silva. That was for ELA perfect scores last year. Perfect scores in math, Thomas Pham, eighth grade. He already knew those statistics, he says. Um, perfect scores for science. We have Carly Sinkowitz. Nice job. Grade five last year. Now we have a very healthy contingent from none other than Brockton High School. We have perfect score for ELA, uh, Zadalina Aliane Moret. And I practiced that four times to get that name right. We have in math, Alexander Lovater, Annika Lutz, Shannon Murphy, Adam Neal. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast here. Shannon Murphy, as I said. Adam Neal, Brian Pham. We have Shay McCauley. Oh, I'm sorry, perfect scores in science. Abigail Floristall. 
Shea McCauley. Ryan Sannon. Rihanna Sow. Calvin Vo. Sarah Borelli. Ariana Ducran. And Taina Rico. And uh, I, it is now my very great honor to introduce my colleague, Dr. Julian Andrade, who will be introducing the 2019 winners of the Citywide Spelling Bee. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Each spring, students in grades three to eight in all Brockton public schools, private and parochial schools, square off in our annual spelling bee. Each contestant has won a grade level spelling bee to represent their school. And the winners of the citywide bee are awarded prizes from the district and bee sponsors. We are pleased with the excellent performance of our young spellers this year. I am happy to announce the first place winners for the spelling bee competition in grades three to six. Grade three, first place, Hancock School, Donald Hazen. So I've been involved with the spelling bee for 10 years and the grade four competition was the longest and most fierce competition I've ever been involved with. It went well over an hour, and we, we had at least 150 words. So I'm pleased to announce grade four, first place, Trinity School, Jasmine Petit Frere. <laughs> grade five, first place, Gilmore School, Jamilson Carvalho. And it's now my privilege to introduce Eileen McQuaid. She is the Associate Principal for the Ashfield School and the Alternative Schools. She's also the content lead for ELA and in the middle schools. Eileen will present the awards for the 2019 Middle School Citywide Spelling Bee, grades six to eight. Thank you, Dr. Andre. Good evening and thank you. I'm pleased to announce the 2019 Middle School Citywide Spelling Bee winners. Uh, for grade six, First place, everybody in her B. They predicted that she would win and she did come out on top. Let's hear it for Joy Lynn Favors from West Middle School. Our grade seven first place winner is from the Ashfield Middle School and he fought a really hard fought battle to win first place. Let's hear it for Ethan Kang. Our grade eight winner couldn't be here with us tonight, but I will tell you, um, he's from Trinity Catholic and his name is Jalen Evans, and um, he had to beat out his twin brother to win the spelling bee, so it was really great. So even though he's not here, we can give him a nice round of applause. And now it's my privilege to introduce Ms. Jamie Esty. She's the Associate Principal of West Middle School and the Content Lead for Social Studies 6 to 8. Tonight, Jamie's going to present the awards for the Regional National History Day for 2019. Thank you very much, Ms. McQuaid. It is my pleasure to present to you the distinguished junior winners of the Regional National History Day competition for 2019. We are all so proud of the Brockton Middle School students who represented their city so well. Fun fact, all of the Students I'm about to announce were my former students from Plouffe before I went over to West as the associate principal. So they hold a little special place in my heart. 
<laughs> um, I would like to thank the teachers who participated and worked so hard to make their program such a great success and who have nurtured these students in their growing abilities. Please join me in recognizing these wonderful young history scholars. And please hold your applause to the end. There's a lot of them. <laughs> um, they are all from Cliff Academy. So we have our junior individual exhibit, first place, Mackenzie Gomes. Junior individual exhibit, second place, Olivia Spadia. I told you, it got in my head. <laughs> we have junior group exhibit, first place, Jane Liu, Jessica Muir, and Kim Dai. Junior individual website, first place, Hannah Zuckerman. Junior group website, second place, Amanada Kona, Sophia Bello and Stephanie Amans. Junior individual documentary first place, Peter Johnson. I don't believe he's with us tonight. Junior group performance first place, Rebecca DeMora, Sophia Early, and Alexis Flanagan. Congratulations. <laughs> Junior group performance second place, Ezekiel Lemieux, Fidila Muhudini and Melody Rivas. We have Junior Paper second place, Zaire Andrade, who cannot be with us tonight, and Junior Paper Honorable Mention, Aliana Mariser, who cannot be with us. Do we have National Sun Sponsor? Can you see what's under there? Sorry, one second. I do want to recognize two groups that will be heading to the national competition uh, this weekend, actually. We have Amanada Kona, Sophia Bello, and Stephanie Amans. They were the winner for the first place group website heading to nationals. And Olivia Spadia. <laughs> Olivia Spadia was winner, second place individual exhibit board. So good luck in Washington, D.C. this weekend. Thank you very much. It is now my privilege to introduce Brockton High School Social Science Department Head, Stephanie Landerholm, who will present the awards for Massachusetts History Day contest. Good evening. Thousands of students across the country take part in the National History Day competition, which challenges students to become experts in a historical topic of their choice. Students in grades 9 to 12 competed in the paper, performance, documentary, website, and exhibit categories, sharing their knowledge and analysis of historical events. Below are the winners from Brockton High School National History Day competition. For individual exhibits, and again, if you could hold your applause to the end, that'd be much appreciated. Individual exhibits, first place, the regime of Queen and Zynga, Maya Brown. Second place, Mormon Migration to Utah, Alnair Rodriguez da Costa. Honorable mention, Dorothea Dix, Pascal Jean Baptiste. Honorable mention, Van Gogh, Delilah Brito dos Santos. For group exhibits, first place, The Crisis in Little Rock Nine. This group also won second place in the regional competition. Brianna Santos, Lydia Soares, Glorialis Renta. Second place, first man on the moon, Oliviana Lima, Giselle Quinde, Sean O'Brien, Javina Montero. Third place, the Little Rock Nine, Katerina Barros, Andrew Dordet, Shyla Clay, Sincere Andrade. Honorable mention, the Blues of the Blues, Nyla Bedgood, Talia Houston. Honorable mention, Motown Records, Asandra Amillo, Kyla Dos Santos, Eliana Gonzalez, Anique Da Silva, Jayla Pulley. Individual websites, first place, HH Homes. This project also received honorable mention in the, in the regionals competition. Wilson Fernandez, Soros Rosa. Second place, Navajo Code Talkers, Nayana Forts. Third place, legalization of same-sex marriage laws, Victoria Medeiros. Honorable mention, the Salem Witch Trials, Diana Josus, and honorable mention, the Salem Witch Trials, Annalise Rivera. Yeah. <laughs> 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 group
group websites, first place, Farm to Factories, Kyle, Antoine, Jean, Sam, Lucien, Elsa, Andre, Zuri, Messiah. Second place, The Spanish Flu, Amaya Gormley, Andrew Steck, Samantha Thevenin. Third place, The Atomic Bomb, Jonathan Simon, Kenny Tu, Nicholas Lynch. Fourth place, The Civil Rights Movement, Eloise Lopes, Kingsley, Marilyn, Hardly Jean Joseph. Honorable mention, The Jackson State Massacre, Avian Dean, Cindy Vargas, Jalen DeRosa, Rebecca Lopez. Honorable mention, Hedy Lamar, Leah Chadwick, Isabel Source. Honorable mention, Griswold vs. Connecticut, Zeta Barros Arojo, Amaryllis Osorio. Individual documentaries, first place, The Burning of Black Wall Street, Carissa Pierre. Second place, Disco Demolition Night, Juzdel Lewis. Honorable mention, Susan B. Anthony, Lara Goyot. Group documentaries, first place, Betrayal of African American Women, Nic Nicolette Thevenin, Kelsey Tamby, Dejara Dixon, Abigail Holland. Second place, Rocky Marciano, Kyle Gildner, Rakeem Johnson. Papers, first place, Japanese American internment camps, Matthew Norman. And second place, Mad Jack Churchill, Matthew McAllister. Congratulations to all the student winners. Now please welcome coordinator of classical and modern languages, Rachel Umbriana, who will present the National Latin Awards. Good evening. Latin students at North, South, and West Middle Schools, as well as the Davis K through 8, participated in this year in the National Latin Exam. This exam is given each March to approximately 148,000 students worldwide. Students from all 50 states participate, as well as over 13 foreign countries. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the students for their participation in the exam, and to thank the teachers for all their hard work to prepare our students to succeed on these exams. The Classical and Modern Language Department is very proud of each of you. From the Davis School, Giovanni Lassard. From North Middle School, Binsky Analyst, Alyssa Labati, Monica Trin, Maria Rivera O'Donovan, Sean Rose, Annalise Alicia. From South Middle School, Enoch Yeme Castillo, Rachel Malafronte, Joseph Fega, Mark Bartholomew Jr., Tafari DeRosa Levy, and Duran Landrum. From West Middle School, Jaden Dubuisson, McDaniel Estime, Gabriel Gentili, Andrea Moreno, and Ezra Alves. Congratulations all. And now I give you music director Vincent Macrina who will present the All-State Music Festival Awards. Yeah, no Good evening, everyone. My name is Vincent McCready, the music director of the Brockton Public Schools. And this year, we're once again very proud to have students represent Brockton High School in the All-State Conference or, or the All-State Band, Orchestra, and Chorus, and Jazz Ensemble. The All-State group starts in the elementary, in the, actually in the middle school, which you have to score high enough to be allowed to, to audition for the district and then for the district, if you score on your top 90%, 
then you can audition for the Allstate. And once you think about this, how many high schools there are in Massachusetts, and just a band, orchestra, jazz ensemble, and chorus are selected from all over the, the state of Massachusetts. This year, we're very pleased to have uh, students representing us. First, for the Allstate Band performing in the first trumpet area would be Elizabeth Morgan. And also, I would like to say that she also is the recipient of the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. In the Allstate Chorus, Dominic Neandre, Greg Young, Giovanni Pereira, Victoria Suero, Mark Velson. And for a really big show, as it was said out here, this is for the 2019 American Choral Director Association National Honor Choir, which was held in Kansas City. Jade Etienne. And who is not here this evening is Mentia Gompola. Thank you. And well now I'd like to present Sarah Richards who will present the All State the All State Scholastic Art Award. Good evening. The Brockton Public Schools Fine Arts Department is pleased to announce the 2019 Scholastic Art Award winners. These awards recognize the hard work and dedication of, and talent of our students and our teachers here in the Brockton Public Schools Art Department. Thousands of individual students' artwork are submitted from around the state, and it's a great honor to be recognized as a gold, silver, or honorable mention winner. Our students continue to represent the city well, and they inspire others with their artwork. Uh, from Brockton High School, Annika Lux, gold key painting, silver key painting, silver key printmaking, honorable mention, drawing and illustration. <laughs> Alexia Sullivan, gold key and national medal in painting. Benjamin McCoy, silver key painting. Rachel Moy, silver key digital art. Akeem Owen, silver key drawing, honorable mention drawing, and honorable mention for his entire portfolio. Lissandro Velasquez, silver key painting. Taylor Adam Bass, honorable mention drawing. Savannah Alfonso, honorable mention drawing. Tejan Andrade, honorable mention drawing. Jasmine Bonzu, honorable mention painting. Shayla Ferguson, honorable mention drawing. Amaya Gormley, honorable mention digital art. Asante Martin, honorable mention photography. <laughs> Daneria Montero, honorable mention photography. Victoria Sorzo, honorable mention photography. <laughs> and from North Middle School, Sidya Blanc, gold key on an honorable mention digital art. UMass Dartmouth's Emerging Young Artist Show. One of our high school students' artwork was selected to be in the UMass Dartmouth juried 2019 Emerging Young Artist Exhibition. This exhibition calls for artists drew over 800 entries. 66 pieces were chosen, and one was our very own Bianca Barrows with her photo um, photograph. The Brockton High School Drama Club. 
This year, 124 high schools competed in the preliminary level of the Massachusetts Drama Festival. The Brockton High School Drama Club production of Magic Theater was one of only 14 shows to be selected to compete at the state finals. The cast and crew won accolades at all three levels of competition and went on to win the state championship. This group of students worked tirelessly to put this wonderful show together and they make us all very, very proud. We're gonna begin with the cast. Rachel Cohen, Angelina DeMarney, Helen Lenahan, Sebastian DePiche, Rachel Moyes, Emma Jesus, Joey Pulveri, George Carolopmeyes, Dante Lamar, Chloe Sherling, Owen Currocock, Enoch Spurin, Josh Williams. And now the set execution team, Giovanni Antunes, John Champagne Arroyo, Hillary Clark, Alexandra Cords, Ronan Cords, Emily Goyette, Katrina Goyette, and Anya Hyman. Sean Jacko, Isabella Jardim, Anya Leahy, Jean Marco Lima, Zoe Lopez, Emma Sadani, Our stage manager, Ariana Ducran. The lighting designer, Kelly Locke. The starlight operator, Rachel Hartford. Wardrobe execution manager, Olivia Wainwright. The wardrobe team, Hope Alexu. Kimberly Cruz. and Amanda, Amanda Williams. And now I'd like to present Lieutenant Colonel Clark, who will present the awards for the JOR2C participation. Good evening. Tonight we'd like to, re like to recognize a new junior ROTC cadet leaders. JROTC is a character and leadership development program. It differs from most other programs in the sense that cadet involvement is critical to its success. As such, our cadets are continually presented with leadership opportunities in which they can develop their interpersonal, problem solving, decision making, and communicative skills, while simultaneously learning something about their own character. As the key leaders, these four will be given the enormous opportunity of leading and managing the program's administrative, operational, and logistical actions necessary to support school and community events. So with that said, I'd like to first call up Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Vicente, the Battalion Commander. <laughs> Next, I'd like to call up Cadet Major Jamie Cazzati, the Executive Officer. Cadet Major Alexander Cords, the Operations Officer. 
And finally, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Julia Gill, the Command Sergeant Major. Thank you, and I will now be followed by the Athletic, uh, athletic Director, Kevin Cairo. Thank you very much. Good evening. It is my honor to present to you the outstanding student athletes of Brockman High School. These young men and women have demonstrated skill not only on the playing field, but scholastic aptitude in the classroom as well. You make us proud to be called the City of Champions, and I commend each of you. The following student athletes have earned all scholastic honors in their respective sports, and I would like to begin with football. Armando Walker, Jr., Enterprise All Scholastic. Amik Watterson, Enterprise All Scholastic. Aaron White, Enterprise All Scholastic. Trayvon Cadero Goodwin, Enterprise All Scholastic. Sonny Okanlola, Enterprise All Scholastic. Boys Soccer, Leandro Texera, Boston Herald All Scholastic, and Enterprise All Scholastic. Hey, we finally got somebody up here. Leandro De Barros, Enterprise All Scholastic. Stephen Gomes, Enterprise All Scholastic. Boys Cross Country, Javier Donegan, Enterprise All Scholastic. He doesn't, you don't have Emmanuel Fernandez, Enterprise All Scholastic. Nicholas O'Connell, Enterprise All Scholastic. And Max Tobin, Enterprise All Scholastic. For golf, Nathan L. Shamey, Enterprise All Scholastic. Tucker Gulbrands, Enterprise All Scholastic. Peyton Sylvia, Enterprise All Scholastic. Girls Cross Country, Sarah Bullock, Enterprise All Scholastic. Tamia Chapman, Enterprise All Scholastic. Nicole Dunbury, Enterprise All Scholastic. Marlise Fernandez, Enterprise All Scholastic. Olivia Rateau, Enterprise All Scholastic. From our girls soccer team, Danelle Davids, Enterprise All Scholastic. Mia Otero, Enterprise All Scholastic. Jayla Curran Stewart, Enterprise All Scholastic. Girls Volleyball, Denisha LaFontant, Enterprise All Scholastic. Mercia Pierre, Enterprise All Scholastic. Malia Shields, Enterprise All Scholastic. Field Hockey, Nayana Forts, Enterprise All Scholastic. Isabella Prosper, Enterprise All Scholastic. Moving on to our winter season, from our boys basketball team, Diamond Blakely, Enterprise All Scholastic. Zendin Correa, Enterprise All Scholastic. Sonny Okanlola, Enterprise All Scholastic. Todd Robinson, Jr., Enterprise All Scholastic. Girls basketball, we had one representative, Jade Wint, or an Enterprise All Scholastic. Ice hockey, Jalen Bridges, Enterprise All Scholastic. Nathan L. Shamey, Enterprise All Scholastic. And Peyton Sylvia, back to the stage, Enterprise All Scholastic. Boys indoor track, Zion Barbara Amato, Enterprise All Scholastic. Alan Bellevue, Enterprise All Scholastic. Javier Donegan, Boston Globe All Scholastic and Enterprise All Scholastic. Marvin Duray, Boston Globe All Scholastic, Enterprise All Scholastic. Isaiah Laguerre, Boston Globe All Scholastic, Enterprise All Scholastic. Amik Watterson, Enterprise All Scholastic. Jordan Williams, Boston Globe All Scholastic, 
Enterprise All Scholastic, and we just found out yesterday afternoon Jordan was named the Massachusetts State Track Association Athlete of the Year. <laughs> Girls into a track, Sarah Bullock, Enterprise All Scholastic. Mackenzie Manigal, Enterprise All Scholastic. Juliet Nuasu, Enterprise All Scholastic. Olivia Rateau, Enterprise All Scholastic. Telma Takang, Enterprise All Scholastic. Wrestling, Connor Gagney, Enterprise All Scholastic. Wilker Pedro, Enterprise All Scholastic. Dalton Roderick, Enterprise All Scholastic. Aiden Wynn, Enterprise All Scholastic. And Nazia Amor, Enterprise All Scholastic. And last but not least, representing our swim team, Jaden Boatwright, Enterprise All Scholastic. Once again, congratulations to all of our recipients tonight. Thank you, Mr. Manicello. I believe the microphone is yours. Okay, uh, this evening we have a special presentation. I'd like to um, ask Principal Murray to please come up. Oh, here he is. Track all scholastic Principal Murray. <laughs> And we'd also like Mr. Gormley to come up as well. The mic is yours. Thank you. Good, e good evening. Um, we thought we'd take a, a moment to recognize a, a student who I think exemplifies everything that is positive and good about not only Brockton High, but the city of Brockton. Uh, this is an individual who is an outstanding athlete and actually gave up uh, half of his senior prom and missed graduation in order to compete at the very highest levels in track. And uh, more importantly, not only is he a great uh, student academically, but even a better person. So he actually uh, forfeited his opportunity to be on the field Saturday with all of his peers and to celebrate his uh, four years here at Brockton High. We thought it'd be appropriate today if we actually gave him his diploma here on stage in front of all of you. So Jordan Williams. So again, everything that we talk about at Brockton High is right before your eyes right now. Jordan Williams, congratulations, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. Uh, we, this concludes our awards for this evening. Again, we would like to thank all of the students who, who are basically, you know, incredible with their talent. Um, academically, sports, artistically. There's so many different talents out there and um, we really do support um, everything you do and we know that your parents and your family are so proud of you. So um, maybe if you're lucky, uh, your parents will take you out for an ice cream or something. I think they've earned it, people. So, uh, so I think Dairy Queen should be you know, lined up down the street, right? So. Well, thank you all for coming. Uh, congratulations, and uh, we thank all of you. Okay, um, we shall reconvene. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, how about a motion to reconvene the meeting? A second from someone? Okay, all in favor? Great, okay. So when we left off, uh, we, the hearing of visitors, Mr. Sullivan pointed out, and we, we did that. So the next item on our uh, 
agenda is the consent agenda. It is the bundling of certain routine business of the school committee. At this time, any school committee member can take a, uh, an item or items out for individual or group discussion. Would anyone care to remove any item or items for uh, discussion? Seeing none, then could someone make a motion to approve consent agenda A through K? Motion to approve consent agenda A through K. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Thank you. Okay, communication. Um, with uh, communication, the Elections Commission request to use the school as a polling location. Um, uh, last week, as everyone on the committee knows, we had a, a meeting with regard to facilities and, and the issue of um, a request by the uh, registrar voters to use the Angelo School for a future voting location. At that meeting, we discussed with uh, the superintendent and um, Deputy Thomas to have a meeting with um, the registrar of voters uh, to get a, a better sense of what she was looking for and to inform her that the Angelo was not really conducive. They had a very good meeting. Um, the registrar of voters removed, removed her request and we'll be working with Mr. Thomas in the future. Um, it looks like uh, there's a couple of possibilities. The Ashfield School might work out, may work out, um, and or uh, another location. Mr. Sullivan, what was the other location that you had recommended? Crosby Gardens. Crosby Gardens. So uh, we do not have to take any um, action on that uh, request as it was uh, rescinded, and there'll be future discussion and visits with regard to the voter registration. Uh, uh, with, with the registrar of voters for um, future um, voting at a, at, a, at a site within Ward 6 because it is a, a request for a precinct uh, for Ward 6. So um, that being said, I, I don't think we really need a vote on anything except to... Uh, uh, no, I don't think we need a vote on that. That's just basically a communication. So next item on the agenda, report of Superintendent of Schools. Okay. Madam Superintendent, the floor okay, is and, yours. and I do, um, Mr. Minicello, have uh, two items of communication. Um, I did receive a note I want to share with you. It says to the Superintendent of Brockton Schools, Kathleen A. Smith, and the school committee. On behalf of my family and myself, I want to thank you for taking the time to recognize my husband, Carl Landerholm, for all his hard work and time spent with the children of Brockton. He loved sharing his knowledge of the history of Brockton, especially to the young people. Thank you also for the beautiful flowers that you gave me. Sincerely, Diane Landerholm. And also, uh, I would like you to know that we did receive communication from uh, Commissioner Jeff Riley. As you can remember, last fall we had a uh, water main break uh, at the Downey School. We had to cancel school for the day. As we come up upon our last day of school, uh, which is scheduled right now for a half day on Wednesday, June 19th, we still had to deal with the loss of that day for the Downey. We asked the commissioner to waive the day and allow us to have the Downey students that day go, not just the half day, but the full day of school. So they will be the only school that has a full day on Wednesday, June 19th. There will be a full lunch, there'll be activities. I know Principal John Kelly is reaching out to the families, making sure that although the rest of the district is a little different, we um, fully um, understand that that will be a full day. I wanna thank the commissioner for working with us. Coming back for an additional day would be a hardship um, as far as opening school, uh, not being able to move forward with some of our uh, plans that we have for professional development with staff, et cetera. So again, uh, that was good news that we just received and we're moving forward to inform um, the families. And uh, next, I also want to share with you, we all attended uh, graduation uh, on Saturday and first of all, we're so fortunate that the weather, at least in my six years, the weather has been beautiful, sometimes a little warm. Uh, Saturday was just one of those days you actually could feel the breeze. Um, this was just an exceptional class uh, that we just saw tonight. So many wonderful things, how they represented us uh, in the city with their academics, their sports, their drama, their artistic talents, uh, you know, so many things. But I want to share this with you, and I'm going to give this to M Mrs. Campbell to actually pass around. So I did receive, and if you listen to uh, Dr. Cliff Murray's speech, on Saturday, he did reference one of our students who actually sent in a speech 
to possibly be chosen uh, as the student, I don't think I ever say this right, salutorian? Yes, salutorian. So, just salutorian. Mm -hmm. so this is a young man that had many challenges, and yet I think it is worthwhile for you to hear uh, what was said. So the mom wrote to me, uh, Stacy Wright, this is student Anthony Wright. She said, I just want to share this with all of you. Anthony wrote a speech, and she informed me that he wrote this himself. And he did audition to be the keynote speaker at graduation, and someone else was chosen. But she did not want this speech to go unread. She truly talks about how indebted they are because of the progress that Anthony made, what a wonderful experience he had at our high school. And I would like to read his speech. So it says, hello, and welcome to the graduation for the class of 2019. Today is not only a special day for us students, but it's a special day for the families, teachers, and staff members who have helped prepare us for this day. My name is Anthony Wright. Some of you may know me and are aware that I have autism. For me, my family didn't know if this day would be today or three years from now, but I made it with the help of so many of you. Class of 2019, we have been working our whole lives for this moment. We earned this. We deserve this. I'm not here to deliver a speech about myself and having autism, but a speech about any student who is struggling with some type of obstacle. Never let it hold you back or make you feel like less of a person. Continue to push yourself out of your comfort zones because this is how you will find out how truly amazing you are. There were days that were tough, but with the support of all the great staff here at Brockton High School, they helped me and you get through many difficult times. The support of family, friends, teachers, coaches, counselors, and countless others has helped us to get where we are today. Maybe it was the boxer, football players, and cheerleaders who sat with you every day at lunch your freshman year so that you never had to eat alone. Or maybe it was the superintendent who came to visit you at your new job. Or maybe it was the director of special education who helped you get that job. Or being part of the track team with the boxer buddies. Or it could have been your teachers and guidance counselors who went above and beyond to make sure you were on the right track. Maybe it was the nurses and paras who were always there helping and taking care of you. Or maybe it was a teacher who wasn't even your own teacher but had one of your siblings and saw your potential and made you feel special. All of these things happened to me, and I am sure most of you has, have had some very similar experiences. Maybe the drama club, arts department, or one of your sports coaches that inspired you to be the best person you could be. Or was it a teacher from your freshman year that told you a story about a cousin who wanted to be a lawyer that made you want to study harder? a desire to be the first one in your family to graduate or be the fourth child to make it to college. Or you just wanted to prove that just because you have a diagnosis or some type that you will graduate and will go on to college. We all need a little push to show our true potential. I am graduating today alongside all of you thanks to my family and all the amazing staff here at Brockton High School. And this is a quote. At BHS, your differences don't matter or define you. Our differences define Brockton High School, a place where it does not matter if you are autistic or athletic or artistic, you are a boxer. These last four years have gone by in the blink of an eye. In that time, it has made us mature and grow. Brockton High has helped us better ourselves and prepare us for the next chapter in our lives. The future is holding great things for all of us. Our desires have pushed, pushed us to where we want to be. All of us here today probably can't believe that this is happening. All the memories and friends I have made will be in my heart forever. Class of 2019, we did it. We made four years of high school worth it. Wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. In the words of Walt Disney, if you can dream it, you can do it. Thank you. And I really thought that that was worth, I think it sums up our students at Brockton High School, whether they are number one in the class and maybe weren't challenged, uh, or maybe a student that considered themselves having a, a diagnosis, as he said, and being able to overcome that, you know, from all of the support that he received. So on behalf of all of us and uh, those that certainly uh, listen to that, you know, understand that that's what makes Brockton High so great.
So thank you, and I'm glad I had a chance to, to share that. Um, I also want to inform you that uh, we do have, uh, this is very special to me, we do have a new director of community schools, and that is going to be uh, Dr. Soraya DeBarros. Um, I'm sure you're surprised. I mean, she's been at the Parent Information Center for a number of years. Uh, she wanted a new challenge. I think uh, community schools is coming into um, a, a new era. I think there are a lot of wonderful things that are happening. It's probably going to, to see a change in offerings, and I'm really pleased that Dr. DeBarros will be leading community schools. Uh, also, I want to thank everybody for last night. A number of you were able to come to the city council meeting. I have to tell you, it did feel very different than the two hours it usually takes us to present. I had a mandate that we were going to be coming on after the mayor, and we needed to move quickly as they have three long nights coming up. And of course, we had just been before them two weeks previous and were able to share with them our state of the schools. So we did present our budget. Um, you would think that we had a wonderful budget. I want to remind everybody we still have a, a $4.8 million deficit, but we also have um, opportunities looking at the state uh, with the House and the Senate budgets moving through. We're going to be meeting with our legislative delegation to truly talk about those um, additional funds that matter to the Brockton Public Schools as we continue to move forward and build back our district. There were very thoughtful questions last night. I want to thank the City Council for giving us the opportunity. There are lots of accolades because they know what we do in supporting our youngsters to make sure that what you saw there tonight happens for students all over our district, from our youngest students to tonight watching a student graduate who was able to take part Saturday. I'm not sure I would have done that, but took part he did and, and had honors that he brought home. And I thought tonight was wonderful that everybody uh, actually uh, took part in, in his little graduation ceremony, and that was Jordan Williams this evening. So we we're very pleased to be able to do that. Um, as far as advocacy, uh, we do have a, we're trying to come up with a date in the next couple of weeks before, as I said, the Senate and House go into their compromise committee. We want to make sure they truly understand our challenges as we are right now, almost, uh, I, I, actually it still is the beginning of June. I was going to say the middle of June. And, sorry, Mr. Minicello, I have to share my book with you it's over okay. here. Don't rush the month. I know. Why would I do that? <laughs> so um, I want to actually take the seat over there and also talk about the kudos that we have in the district. So you're not going to see this on that, but before I go there, I want to tell you that I did have an opportunity uh, last week on May 30th to go to the Alumni Awards Ceremony. And this is something, and I want to thank Bob Saltzman, uh, and I want to thank all our alumni that continue to try to grow that organization. If you are out there and you're an alumni, please get involved. It's worth it. You know, we want you to come back. As we said, you know, once you're a boxer, you're always a boxer. There are so many ways to support us, even just by being involved. So there were four uh, student scholarships given out, and of course there were many student scholarships. We saw that in the book uh, at our graduation. And scholarships were to Alexis Adozi, uh, Aaron Hamlin, Elaine Rodriguez, and Alexandra Yunus uh, from the past group. And I want to congratulate the honorees, the alumni honorees this year, our own Mike Brady, class of 1980, Aloic Osumbo, who actually came before you. He was the class of 2011. He actually um, is a nurse practitioner and wrote the book about the male nurse practitioner that he read to a lot of our younger students in the district. And the most fascinating was one of our graduates from 1950, a gentleman in his 80s that he was so proud to tell us, a Leo Narducci, um, who is a famous fashion designer. I see uh, Richard Bath sitting up there, uh, just retired as professor at LaSalle College. And when I said to Richard, I never heard of Leo Narducci, he said, you never did. He was very involved, I know, with Richard and LaSalle and the wonderful programs that they have there. So thank you to all our alumni for recognizing great individuals. And also today we had, and it's interesting that Saturday we graduate almost 1,000 students, 
and that is the end of our class of 2019. No sooner does that happen. And today we gave out book awards to our class of 2020. I can't believe we have a class of 2020 before us. So our juniors transitioning to be our new senior class when they come back. So we had book awards for 10 students from places like Harvard, Yale, Brown, Dartmouth, Wellesley College, Smith, Williams College, Boston College, Stonehill College, and Bay Path University. And these are the top students in our district, uh, very proud. So I know you'll be pleased that, um, let me end the night by So these are happenings in our district this past week. So congratulations to our Brockton High School Drama Program, seven musical nominations for Newsies for the Massachusetts Educational Theater Guild Met Awards. So they were actually practicing today when I was in the fine arts. So although Newsies happened during Mother's Day weekend, it continues on while they're vying for a number of nominations, one being Best Musical. So please keep your fingers crossed. We're excited about that happening. And next, there is our own Jordan Williams, who was the winner of the MIAA D1 pentathlon. Mr. Gormley, what is the pentathlon? The pentathlon is like the decathlon, but with less events. And I don't know <laughs> which events you don't do. I, I'm trying to remember. I know they run the mile. They do the 110-meter hurdles, the high jump, the long jump, the... Uh, I forget what else. <laughs> so five events? I think it's more than that. More than five events. And what events. does that mean, pentathlon? You were laughing. Well, this, this is the young man I should again. know this. I, I, you should. <laughs> and the next one, I think, is also, yep, there is Jordan again. And this is who I spoke about a few minutes ago, who we were able to give um, the uh, high school diploma to just now. So he was the winner of the MIAA All-State Pentathlon held at Westfield State University, scoring 3,429 3, points on Saturday, June 1st, and now you understand why he was not able to be at his graduation. So congratulations to Jordan. One more thing, too. He broke the state record for the 400 meters. Uh, the on Saturday or? Past the Saturday before. Saturday before. Yeah. Quite, a week, quite a few weeks, he said. Well, I'm sure we'll continue to hear great things about him and so many of our athletes. And next, I have to tell you, this was something that we tried this year. This was a tea held at the Hancock Elementary School. I also was able to do this at the uh, Kennedy uh, at the Gilmore this year. Um, Mr. Thomas, I hope next year you're going to continue in this tradition. So you'll have to have, what do you have, your iced coffee? We'll have iced coffee with the, uh, with the new superintendent. But this was a great opportunity. And when you talk about, you know, when we have the large forums, I think this is a little more intimate and an opportunity for parents to share you know, concerns about their children transitioning. And it is a great dialogue the parents have with each other. The one thing that I heard through and through was they were very pleased with the parents, the communication, the involvement in the school. So I want to thank Chartwells. You can see they put out tea, they put out goodies. You can't see it, but we actually have China that we're using, our beautiful white teacups. So it's really very elegant, and I want to thank everybody that took time out of their busy day to come and join us. And I think we have a group picture. So I want you to see Principal Steve Shaw that hosted this. You do see we had a dad at T. I want to point that out. Um, and, and again, this was a great group and uh, a lot of excellent conversation. Thank you, parents from the Hancock. Now, also, Vula Rumis and Gloria Chow were just named and received an award at the Matt Soul Conference last week for the recognition of their work with the Manthala George Jr. Global Studies School. I will be inviting them to come before you, probably our last school committee meeting on June 18th, but I wanted you to see that uh, this past week. And these are our Gator girls from the um, Angelo School. On the Run team competed in their 5K also on Saturday. Thank you to all the teachers there that support these young women uh, in leadership, in girl power, uh, what do they say? Gators got grit. We don't quit. Perfect. So congratulations to all of them. And tonight, uh, I know that it's, we still have some time, everybody, from 4 to 8, Ju is the, yeah, to Tuesday, June 4th, I'm sorry, 4 to 10, at the Texas Roadhouse. 
So it does support our CPAC, and I know at our Special Olympics, I actually probably should have had pictures in there from that on uh, this past Wednesday, the mayor gave a check for $50,000, I believe, from a block grant to support the playground that you know that Terry McIntosh from the CPAC came before you earlier in the year. So that's a wonderful kickoff to put towards uh, the playground so that all children have access to our playground. So thank you to them, and we'll continue to support them. And that is my report for this evening. Thank you. Did I say that it's the Downey, correct? Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, the Downey School. As you can see, there's lots happening in the district. Oh, and you have in front of you the postcards. Yep. So every year, Principal Nezrella, during April vacation, they take close to, was it close to 70 youngsters? Yep. With chaperones, with nurses. You know, all we ever hear is what a great time the kids have, how well behaved they are. I love the postcards that they send us. They usually do Philadelphia, Washington, and New York and continue to do that during the sixth and seventh grade. So there's great opportunities for our students to get out there and see our wonderful country. So thank you to everybody involved with that. Um, I know they always come before you. Usually next year you'll get a, you'll get a slideshow about the trip to New York. Always a fun time. Um, any unfinished business? Any new business? No need for executive session. Okay, um, anything before we wrap up? Ms. Sullivan. I just wanted to say um, for Anthony Wright, I've known the family f since he was in uh, first grade. They came to the church. He received all his sacraments at the church. He doesn't let anybody stop him. He also, I don't know if you remember, but when we were in the library for the New Heights Charter School, he was one of the speakers that spoke against the New Heights Charter School coming to Brockton. I can't, I didn't remember that. Yeah. So he had no fear of public speaking, it sounds like. No, he was only in like the seventh or eighth grade then. Yeah. He's quite a, he doesn't let anything He's, stop he's quite an accomplished young man. Do you think that maybe we could give him a certificate or invite him to? Would you like me to invite him to the June 18th? It's our last meeting of the year. I think that would be wonderful. I thought, I thought this was very, you know, heartfelt, and uh, I think this was excellent. I, I'd love to give, meet him in person and give him a certificate. Yeah, I, I, you know, again, I, I was sitting in my office the night I opened this up when the parents sent it, and, you know, it really makes you feel, it, it really is what Brockton is all about. And, you know, people need to understand that, you know, we make sure every child reaches their full potential and has opportunity. And our students are the nicest. Today I did the freshman voices here. We actually had it in this very place because we had MCAS testing going on in the usual area. And I have to tell you, Michelle Bolton was with me. It was a great, great group that were truly kind to each other, um, you know, wanted to take pictures, thought this was a wonderful event, you know, shared with us um, many things. They talked about freshman orientation, being nervous, you know, when they're for coming to Brockton High for the first time. I started to share some of it with Dr. Murray. Um, and you can imagine what that feels like walking into this high school for the first time, you know, coming from, you know, the Ashfield or the Pluff, although we think those are good-sized schools with almost 600 kids. You're walking into 4,200 kids here at Brockton High School, some quite a bit larger than you when you enter as a 14-year-old freshman, some 13-year-olds. So, um, again, I, I just can't say enough about the students we have. It, it really is what makes us special. Four years goes by very quickly when you come to Brockton High. Too quickly. Mm -hmm. so. so we will invite Anthony. Great. Okay. Anything else? All right. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Thank you for attending. We are adjourned. <laughs>